Folks, this video is about a strange little phenomenon that I've noticed here lately on my thumb, and it's a thing called a splinter hemorrhage. You see this thing in my thumbnail here that looks like a little splinter? Hopefully I'm holding my thumb in the right place and not too, too close to the camera. So that was further back in my thumb. It was back, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch uh, nearer to the base of my nail. Uh, just about five weeks ago when I played a gig. I first noticed it when I was playing guitar at a uh, little show uh, that I was playing. And so it looked like I had a splinter stuck up under my thumb. So I'd been doing some reading on it and there are a number of different things that can cause this. Not to exclude uh, trauma to your thumb, I just don't ever remember banging it. So there are other things that can, can cause this. I'm in kind of a weird little alcove here as I record this. But I thought I'd shoot it before it goes away. It, you know, maybe it's going to grow straight on out to the end. I, I don't know if it's anything to be uh, concerned about. As you can see, there's nothing on any of my other nails. It just showed up on that one right thumbnail there. So I don't know if you've all seen it before, but it looks like you got a little splinter under your thumb, but it just goes straight as an arrow there. And eventually it looks like it does grow out. So I thought I'd show this now, and then maybe hopefully six, eight, ten weeks, however long it takes for that nail to grow on out. It'll be totally gone. And um, I've been reading various things that can cause this. Some of them are serious, but I just don't see uh, you know, symptoms of any of those other things. So something caused it strange. I thought I'd just share that with the world and see if anyone else has had the splinter hemorrhage in a uh, under a nail on your hand. I guess maybe, maybe you can do it on your toes as well. I do not know.